Adventure Token is here to stay. Slime Flock means you can play. Oh, but you keep on special summoning, special summoning, yeah. Griffin and Gay Birds that I really hate. You deserve it, maybe you deserve it all. And Ray's gonna give bells to you. Hi everyone, confirmed to draw Dasher or Celestial in my rank up match, Kevin here. Uh, so this is my newer <laughs> deck list. <laughs> I know I don't know if it's a good thing for someone to just keep changing their deck list, but you know, we're not stubborn people. We're always trying to get better, we're always trying to get good, right? So I'm always open to new ideas and new ways to play Skytrier, because we're all trying to get good. It does not matter, right? Uh, so 3 Valor, 3 Maxi. Double Ogre for the stupid uh, Flowandery's field spell, because I realize now that uh, you got a normal summon ray, right? There's there's literally no no other choice. Like you just have to normal summon ray. If they have field spell on, they're gonna you have to normal summon, right? And then they're gonna activate the field spell. Field spell normal summon. They pop off. They make Ryza. They make Ivy on. They pop you. You lose. GG easy no re right. So that's why we're playing ogre, playing double uh double rose, one griffin for the adventure package. I still think adventure package is good. It's a lot better than DPE because at least that sets up your spell cards for your striker stuff right and i'm willing to like technically faithful adventure is a brick right but it's not really a brick because you can at least set up with the token for the following turn and i think the only real brick is probably this but at the same time like you got to play it you know what i mean so anyways as i was saying we got foolish burial uh reinforcement of the army of course double and gag double afterburners one two pot of disparity this is probably my favorite addition now because at least before you have to play like you know your token Link Spider, you gotta play Verde Anaconda, blah blah blah, blah all that fun stuff, right? So now we have more targets to banish that I wouldn't feel bad that we would banish uh, for searching like you know our starter cards, right? So basically, if you don't have Ray, you probably banish six. My six targets usually are this, right? One Blue Ray, uh, one Yellow Ray, one Phoenix, one uh, Wind, the Wind Charmer for Fluandries, right? <laughs> or uh, the Griffin, right? Uh, one Zeke, one Unicorn, and I think that's six, right? Did I count that right? One. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, right? So that's six, right? Um, six of those cards. Otherwise, you banish three. You probably do Blu ray, uh, also, and probably Phoenix, right? I kind of don't want to banish kind of most of the time because then it could kind of save you for um, from an OTK. And as long as you have Ray, um, you can play, right? Uh, anyways, I was saying double of the Rider Remus here, of course. One Draco back kind of brick. But it kind of works with your horny drone, so that's okay. Uh, one multi roll, of course. One fateful adventure, double called by. One horny drone, double widow anchor. One shark cannon, and triple imperm. Extra deck's pretty much standard, I think. The only thing I'm different that I'm playing is the wind, the wind charmer, right? That's for uh, summoning their griffin if they happen to have that. So if you have token, you can summon griffin uh, with a body or whatever. And you have omni negate. I don't know. And you can do some more fun stuff like that, right? Uh, Otherwise, I think that's literally the only purpose. There's probably better cards I could think of. Uh, like, I don't know. You can probably play... This is a hot take, right? But you can probably play Cerberus, right? Probably play that. I mean, Cerberus to get rid of a monster. I don't think that's necessary at the moment because you have Afterburners. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. What do I think? Uh, otherwise, I think that's pretty it. Uh, I haven't been really running into, like, you know, Mr. Omnigate decks. Like... Uh, Mr. Negate or stuff like that. For the most part, I think this deck can deal with everything because we got so many hand traps. We're at least bound to hopefully draw one. Uh, anyways, I'm ranting enough about my deck. It'll probably change by the next time you watch this video or uh, watch a different video or something like that. But this is the tentative deck list for now. I feel it's pretty good. Hits everything, um, especially for Landry's, which I guess is the most popular thing on ladder at the moment. And uh, if we play more Eldritch, I guess we'll add in some macro removal. But we're going to play with this for now. All right. Cool. On to some gameplay. Hi, everybody. Late Night Kevin here. I had an interesting match that I think maybe might be uh, useful for you guys to understand the power of the Venture Token, as I'm always saying. Uh, luckily, we did not draw Dasher and or Celestial. And I did draw it two times in a row uh, right before my rank up. And, of course, I lost. So... I decided, you know what, DP, PED, EDP, you're not worth it anymore, man. You're just not worth it completely. And now we're down to a 40-card deck. Keep it simple, stupid. All right. So, we drew Valor, Maxi, a Maneuver, a, well, Maneuver, Afterburner, one Hornet Drone, and one 
shark cannon. And we're going second because we lost that roll. And that's okay because we play like a billion hand traps. Uh, they're going to pop off with Radar Mimis here. We're going to chain Maxi, of course. That's going to probably get negated because it always does. <laughs> uh, always does. Why are we still here just to suffer? So, oh well, we got at least a Veiler, right? But it's not going to matter probably because the Griffin's going to negate whatever combo piece they have. So we're just going to fast forward. Yep. I'm going to skip it right now. Eventually. All right, I'm back. Actually, they did something kind of different. They made a uh, Beatrice because they couldn't VFD us. So that's, you know, my shock. We're going to Veiler it. And surprisingly, they choose not to hit us with the Griffin Rider. Probably because Beatrice, you know, if you don't know what she does, it's basically a quick effect that could send any card. Remember that from Mr. Negate? So draw Maxi, hilarious. I would have, well, you know, sometimes the game is cruel. So they're going to chain Beatrice. They detach Lily. Send Water Enchantress. I guess set up for next turn for their, um, you know, adventure stuff. Which I think, I don't know. That's interesting, right? They have Ritual Gate in their graveyard so they can target whatever. Um, or technically they can banish this and add a Virtual World card from their deck to their hand, right? And then they'll immediately send it, so I don't know. They're kind of screwed, so I guess it makes sense for them to get the adventure stuff going on, and they can recycle Griffin. But we have the Alpha Griffin. So main phase one, of course, we're going to do a linear... Well, I mean, you're sequencing, right? It's very important. Obviously, you don't do this first, because it's going to instant negate. Now, no raid, no play, right? No raid, no play. We could have done this first, but I was waiting, like, well... Um, was it a better idea if I do Afterburners first? Probably, possibly, yes. But I wanted the same time to see... If I can somehow get Afterburners, because we pop, like, say, Token and Faithful Venture, then their Griffin Negate or whatever at the end is not going to matter, or their uh, Water Interest is going to matter, because most people probably just play one Faithful Adventure, right? So we pop that. I mean, what are you going to do? Get another Token? Whoop you do. So, you know, decisions, right? So you can do that or that. Get the Negate out of the way or that. So I said, you know what? Okay, fine. We'll banish their uh, Lady, so now they can't get a free Token next turn and recycle stuff. So we'll bait it out now. They're going to obviously negate. Obviously. Right. So now we summon Horny Drones, of course, so it's no rain, no play. And now decision time, right? Do we be greedy? We have three spells in grave, right? So we know what that means. We can engag. If we engag, remember I'm playing two afterburners for this very specific reason, because we can destroy a monster and then destroy their back row, and they can't chain to it, right? So... Uh, you could play the safe play where you send Ray instead, right? So you have an ability to recycle just in case you get bot. But guess what? They're going to be down to basically no cards because we have Maxi, and that's way too much advantage, and they can't negate it, right? So they have no adventure token for next turn. We're obviously just going to poke. We can't beat both of them. Attack directly, sure, whatever. Send and Gag. Main phase two, of course, Kagari. Red Ray. At back and Gag. Red Ray at back and Gog, and Gog's gonna activate. So what do you search, right? What do you search? What do you search? Remember I said we search uh you can search Afterburn, you search Widow Anchor for the Steely Wheelie Dealy, or you know, you search um multi roll again to set up Shizuku Shuffle. So, uh best option again. Probably is to just pop both the back row. You target this, that's gonna be gone girl. You target that, that's gonna be destroyed. They're only left with a Beatrice. I mean at that point a Beatrice with no material by the way, so at that point what could they possibly do? You know what I mean? They can't make VFD, which is important. And again, we have Maxi, so they're going to draw into probably some handies. And we drew this, too. This is hilarious. So we're going to set up our Omni Negate board as well. Destroy that. Destroy Faithful Adventure. So now they can't recycle their Griffin. And if they draw, it does not matter. We're going to pop off, do our thing. Now, you could say this is a misplay, right? Why did you summon Kana, right? At the time, I was thinking to myself, you know what? Hmm, Virtual World, they basically have a bunch of... Well, not all of them are one-card combos, you know? But... Uh, potentially, I saw them make Mr. Miss Beatrice, which is, I think, very abnormal considering Virtual World, right? Since they always VFD you. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? Let's not try to, like, spin it back. Maybe they can resummon it. They can send more stuff, and that's bad for us. So that's why I decided to go kind of instead. Leave it on field. Whatever. Right. But at the same time, we don't have Ray Grave, so I was like, ah, eh, whatever. I can live with it. Right. Here we go. Of course, you don't. I uh, just added the hand. We're going to discard it with a search. So it's free. Goes to Grave. We add that to token. Special summon to Griffin for the Omni Negate. We make Blu ray. Blu ray, Blu ray. Blu ray, Blu ray. Spin it back. You know, I said, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Now they have zero cards. 
We do Widow Steel for next turn. So we're going to get whatever they do. We chain Maxi. They have no way. No way out. And that's basically GG. Pretty good, huh? Uh, alrighty. I know it's very quick, but it was kind of interesting to me to see it, right? That you your sequencing kind of matters. And I'll probably, uh, hopefully, uh, you learn a thing or two. Hopefully, this decklist help people. I don't know. I mean, it's just so weird, this format, right? Like, Flu Wineries is probably super meta. You got PK every once in a while. I don't even think they make Mr. Rongo Bongo at this point anymore. But Flu Wineries, I think just, like, uh, for the most part, if they have field spell on and you don't have a way to get rid of it, if you normal summon Ray, it's basically GG because they're going to summon Ryza and pop off and blah, blah, blah and do all that fun stuff. I don't know. So, yeah, I just don't want to lose to Flu Wanderers for the most part because everybody seems to be confident with that now. All right, anyways, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. Always leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Bye bye. Love, peace. This is my outro song for free YouTube monies. Give me some likes and support me, please.